Hello, this is Renee Michelle Floyd with Beautiful Hair Products, and today is tip number three, and I'm going to be talking to you about tea tree oil, or the medicinal name for it. Let me see if I can get it focused here. The medicinal name for it is Melaleuca alternate. <laughs> Melaleuca, let's see, let me, uh, my tongue always get tied. Alternifolio. Um, uh, that's the medicinal name for it. So anyway, I but the important thing is that melaleuca or yeah, tea tree oil is excellent for combating dandruff and psoriasis of the scalp. Um, all you do is, you know, you can drop a few drops into your shampoo and uh, shampoo your scalp with it. Leave the shampoo on your scalp a little bit so that the uh, tea tree oil can activate now, tea tree oil has a very medicinal smell to it, and um, it's very powerful because it has the antifungal and antibacterial uh, properties to it. And this is why it's excellent um, in terms of getting rid of, you know, dry, flaky, itchy, yucky feeling scalp. <laughs> so what I normally do is I will do the ACV um, rinse, which is tip number two from yesterday. And I'll have the link uh, to that um, tip in the description box below. And also, um, or I will drop a few drops of the tea tree oil, the melaleuca oil into my shampoo and, um, and just allow the shampoo to just stay on my scalp and then I rinse it very well, um, you know, and, and for severe cases, you can also dab or sprinkle a little bit of the oil throughout, you know, your scalp and just kind of leave it on there, but not too much because tea tree oil is also drying. What it does is it sucks all the bacteria, you know, from that area. It's good for uh, cuts and scrapes and burns, minor burns and everything. So that's why it has a medicinal quality to it. And you don't want to use it too much on your scalp. Um, so maybe once every uh, week or every two weeks is good if you're going to just put the raw oil on your scalp. So that's uh, uh, tip number three for today is tea tree oil is excellent or melaleuca oil is excellent to combat dandruff and psoriasis um, from your scalp. Either use it in your shampoo or you can dab it uh, directly onto your scalp. And, um, you know, you can rinse it out or you can leave it on, but don't do it too often because it's very, like I said, it it sucks up all the, the bacteria and from that affected area. So that's tip number three for today, and tomorrow I will come to you with tip number four.